Ciao guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I decided to do something a little different with you guys and do a little get ready with me. So without making this intro any longer than it needs to be, let's start getting ready. Please excuse this like bun. Um, I just drew my hair up to wash it and then I figured you might as well just have your hair up to do your whole yeah. Everyone does it. So we're gonna go in with a eye primer and I just personally use concealer cheaper than buying a whole fucking eye primer, you know? So we're gonna go in with a Magic Star concealer. Literally one of the best concealers. I've yet to find anything that I love as much as this. So we're gonna go in and I'm gonna shut up. And I just put like a little bit on my eyelid and then I'm just gonna blend it out with a beauty blender or if you don't have a beauty blender, just use your hands. Clean hands preferably, wash your hands before you do your makeup and prepare food. But let's get into it. really quickly i like to just go in with a brush does not matter what kind of brush take a color that is very very close to your skin and just set it here we go now the other eye does not matter how much concealer you put, just don't do a whole lot and just blend it out. Good, good enough. Just make sure everything is blended smooth. Now go ahead and take your eyeshadow. All right, now that we're done with concealer, let's get in to our eyeshadow. Let's get into playing. So I'm just gonna do a real natural look today. Nothing too, too crazy, because I'm going to work after this and I'm not trying to turn heads. I'm just trying to give you your food and call it a day. So we're gonna go into our crease with Diet Root Beer. This shade right here, AKA just if you don't have this palette and you just wanna do this with me, um, a nice brown, chillin' brown. It's a nice warm, very light. Nothing too dark. Tap off the excess and start with the outer corner of your crease. I usually go up and do a little kind of C motion. Kind of like doop, doop, just push the shadow up. And then once you start working it, blend it to the whole crease. I don't know. I don't know, I'm just trying to tell you what I do. But let's do it. Like I said, I start with the C, I blend it out. I'm not really stretching my eyelid. I used to when I do makeup, so now I just have to hold my hand there. Otherwise, I don't know what to do with this hand. Um, for the actual professionals that are seeing this, if you are watching this train wreck, it's I'm not stretching out my lid, don't yell at me. Now that we got this eye done, not really, 
we're gonna go in to our crease color on the other eye. Let's go in and not drop our thingy. All right. Other eye. For some reason, I have no idea why, but every time I do my makeup, one eye ends up getting darker than the other eye. I don't know why. I feel like I do the same thing every time. So we're gonna go ahead and fix that. No, oh, you. This is how we're gonna do it. Yay, it's getting darker. Alrighty. And there comes a point in your eyeshadow game where you just have to say stop and let's go to the other thing so you don't drive yourself crazy now the next step usually goes either or for me i'm just gonna um i'm gonna blend it now sometimes i will blend this lid crease up to my eyebrow sometimes i decide to go in with the lid color um let's blend first okay let's blend let's get shit together before we go in with our lid so i know what i'm gonna do with that they cat hair in the palette so last night tea for you guys i was watching this drama video i believe it's nick schneider um and he was talking about how people are complaining in the conspiracy palette of Shane, a couple people have found hairs in their palettes. Um, I don't know if like we're just on this trend of finding hair in makeup now, thanks to Jaclyn Hill. I personally haven't found hair in this palette. I thought it came very nicely, whatever. The hair I just found was probably from the one of many animals in my house and it flew there. I don't know. Why am I ranting? Let's just get to blending. See, I feel like that's just a very hard line. So I go in and buff it out. Um, the brush I'm using, I should start talking about my brushes, right? So to do my crease color, I, did, I used a e.l.f. contour brush. Love these brushes. Even though it's technically called a contour brush, I use it as a crease brush. This brush I got in an Ipsy bag, so I don't know where you can get it, but it's called Good Good Night Words, man. Words Good Night 110. And it's just like a little fanning brush. Um, really great for blending. I love this brush for blending. I should talk about the shades I'm using. I use Diet Root Beer for my crease. I used Cry on My Boyfriend's Couch to set my lid and to blend everything out. And then finally, I'm gonna go in with a little shimmer because um, I like a shimmer on my lid, but you know, everything's preference in makeup. I'm gonna go into my boyfriend's purse. Sorry, this like palette just looks rocked. Um, but I'm going to go into this one right here because it is a nice little white shade. I usually use the tip of my finger. So we're going to go in and just pat it onto our eyes. Start where you want to go. If you feel like you did your crease a little harsh and you want to diffuse it, you can start where the crease is. And then I just go ahead and pat. Just tap it on and push the glitter ever so slightly. And I work with my lid shape, so I kind of just crown it. Crown it, sorry. I just kind of like just take my finger, let it rest in my eye, and just move up. And just work my way up and blending it. And just pushing the color where you want it to go, how you want it to look. 
and that's why I do my eyes first because if you don't like where you know like let's say the glitter just dragged all the way down your eye you can just lick your finger and wipe it away and now this is gorgeous this is all it's gonna get wow I'm just drawing my boyfriend's face that's how makeup should be right should keep it pretty she get into it, she use it, experiment, try it, have fun. Makeup should be all about having fun, exploring your exploring your creativity. And just ex accenting what you want. I love my eyes, so I love just playing in eyeshadow. And here we go. Now check it out. Now, after I do my little eyelid, I like to go back in. I'm gonna go in with this Luxie 343 Precision Blending Brush, another Ipsy bag brush that kind of made its way to my heart. I'm gonna take a little bit and I'm just gonna like take my, I'm gonna take that root beer and just put it in the outer corner of my eyes to kind of just touch it up um from what the glitter eyeshadow kind of dulled down and just a little ever so slightly just to give it color and for you to properly see it just a little bit just a couple little bumps just have to do a little excess just so she's there you know so she didn't go anywhere not hiding she's there everyone's there everyone's there everyone's saying hello being present in the party on your eyes all right now that we're pretty much done I'm gonna check it out make sure this is done okay now now that we are done with our eyeshadow I want to throw this out Do I want to do my eyebrows first? Yeah. I'm using NYX Tinted Brown Mascara in shade. Don't know. Espresso. In a shade Espresso. So just Tinted Brown Mascara. Love it. Cheap. You can find it at Target. Maybe Walmart. Probably Ulta. I definitely discovered it in an Ulta, but you can get it maybe even cvs your local drugstore wherever it's everywhere in my face i'm just gonna go now we're just gonna go and put mascara on our eyes there's I'm just gonna use this conspiracy power to do this. Do, 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 do. Now, finally, it is time for highlight first. You know what? Hold on one second. I always forget to do this stuff. We're going to set our face real quick using a fourth ray fresh AF mist. Sorry, it's a little shaken up from a run. Clearly, it's been well used. I'm not getting a new facial mist or a setting spray until this is all gone. And I probably re will realize this when I have a gorgeous face. There we go. Now you take a final look. You're like, is this what I want to do with my life? Is this it, honey? This is it. Speak up now or forever hold your peace. Blend this out. I I know most girls will be like putting teeth and stuff on their eyes. I formulate the shape of my eyeshadow look using a series of licking makeup off my face and I guess setting it up the way I want to. Now let's set what we just did. Now 
I usually like to set my face before I do the highlighter because I feel like the setting mist helps the highlight kind of stay and grab on your face. It's like, yes. Now, today we are going to try a brand new highlighter and we're using the Baked Highlighter in shade Moonlight Pearls. Yeah, great. I know this is probably not a brand new product, but it is for me. So let's see how it goes. Okay, shoot it again. Now, Now using a Terry Potter wand brush set in this angled little group. So we're gonna go in and we're just gonna dance this around. Okay. Stop being a freak right now. Now It's not my fave, okay? Maybe because I don't know if it's this brush. My birds are okay, okay? If you're hearing this, they are more than okay. Nature stuff. But anyway, I like this highlighter. It just... I don't know. Let me give this a couple more uses to really judge this, but it's okay. It's all right. It's not my fave. Like putting this on is not like, oh my God, I love it. This is it. But it's pretty good. You know what? For the money I'm using, it's good enough. It's gonna, it's gonna work today. You know, there's no highlighting police. They're like, bitch, you need to take that highlighter off because it's not blinding. I can still see. I like my highlighters to be a little blinding, to be like, bitch can't see. Do you have the high beams on or is that your highlight? Anyway, last step. I don't usually do lipsticks and I'm going to work. I don't really want to be messing with the lipsticks. I want to be focused on what I got to be doing. So I'm going to be using this Burt's Bees Moisturizing Lip Balm in the flavor strawberry okay i don't like the mint okay mint was i tried burnt's bees because i love using all cruelty free products 99 percent of these products are cruelty free i would like to say 99 because sometimes i think a product is cruelty free and then it pops up that it isn't but so far from my research everything maybe this brush probably isn't cruelty free but i'm working on getting cruelty free brushes and vegan brushes and all that stuff but it is a slow process yeah now i'm going to do the slip bomb all right here you go very complicated shit. finally the last step is to take down your hair and see what you just did And now your eyeshadow will look with everything you're doing. Yay! So you get a final look of what I just did up close. Um, yeah, but that's pretty much it. Now we're done. Anyway, that is all I have for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching if you made it this far. Um, if you like this kind of video, please give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. I yeah, until next time, guys. Bye!